Now to a story that's part of a nationwide conversation, teen suicide and mental health. A report by the Centers for Disease Control shows an alarming rise in young people taking their own life. Here on the First Coast, a rapid response team of mental health professionals is on standby around the clock. On your side, Alex Ositis explains how this team is working with those at risk. When folks get to that point, uh, it's because they don't know what else to do. Theresa Raleen created a rapid response team at Child Guidance Center 15 years ago. The goal, intervene in an emergency and teach a positive outcome. Helping someone to feel like they're not alone, they're not the only one that feels these emotions. The artwork around her office created by some of her young clients saved. A 17-year study released in late 2019 paints a different picture. The National Center for Health Statistics cited suicide as the second leading cause of death for 10 to 25 year olds. Adding from 2007 to 2017, the suicide rates increased to nearly 10% of violent deaths in the same age range. The On Your Side team reached out to school districts across the area. Duval County Schools says it's only aware of suicides if a parent or guardian gives notice. In the 2018-2019 school year, there were four suicides, the most going back four years. The district has set up half a dozen mental health programs, including parent-involved ones. Rowene says it's partnerships with schools, organizations, and parents that help keep a vigilant watch for someone facing a crisis. Recognizing that children that, um, or, or people, adults, that go through traumatic events when they are young, that that then affects their development throughout the rest of their lives. Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.